Hey guys, Jingo here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the F4E Phantom 2 sitting at 10.3 battle rating in the American line fantastic Vietnam War plane that we all know, an iconic plane. I used to have a model as a child of this thing. Didn't have many jets in my model collection, but uh, this was one of those jets. I just had to have fantastic plane. Uh, the E version was the interceptor version of this plane, the only one with an onboard cannon and a very nice cannon indeed. These things according to the Wikipedia, I just checked it again, was uh, 2300 kilometers an hour. Uh, but uh, as we know in game the planes don't really get their matching speeds from what they uh, supposedly could do. I think that's gameplay related. I haven't seen any explanations of Gaijin so far on the dev blogs. Although I have to say, I've been out of the loop for uh, almost half a year, especially on the jet game. And uh, I don't know if they explained it in the meantime, but I am assuming that it has to do with gameplay reasons. And uh, if you got uh, jets that can do 2300 kilometers an hour, it's going to be a little bit difficult to balance that and it's going to pull the game uh, apart basically. That's why I think they adjusted these speeds uh, relative each other to make it uh, playable gameplay wise but anyway this plane as to the speeds the maximum speed in a straight line of this plane at sea level without the afterburners is 1151 kilometers an hour and with the afterburners 1293 at 4500 meters still go up to 892 without and 1206 with and finally at 6500 meters They'll go up to 788 kilometers an hour without the afterburners and 1219 with. Now that is uh, not even close to the 2300 uh, kilometers an hour that this thing supposedly could do. Top speed in a dive of course in this plane is uh, 1385 before she redlines and 1510 before she rips apart. Now that's quite good, that is 80 kilometers an hour faster than the T2 for example in the Japanese line. And the speeds of this plane at sea level are comparable to that plane, even slower without the uh, afterburners. And, um, but with afterburners this thing is always faster um, on the higher altitudes, especially tall speed in the plane lies at 75 kilometers an hour, then she really starts to fall out of the sky. So, But that's very good uh, for stall speed wise in the jets. Uh, control stiffening starts already at 900 kilometers an hour and at 1100 kilometers an hour you really got to pull out of that dive because it starts to stiffen up in the roll rate but also in the elevator and at that speed once you come low to the ground it's going to be difficult to pull her out as she does stiffen up uh, with the elevator as well. So uh, there is that but uh, for speed she is definitely uh, quite a fast plane. One of the latest, of course, and, uh, a very nice plane, I have to say. The firepower in the plane is good. You have one 20 mm M61 cannon with 640 rounds per gun. I flew it as a fighter and took out the four AIM 9GJ Sidewinders, four of them. And the plane also is equipped with flares as one of the first uh, planes in the game as we go into a maneuver against a T2. This is also an example of uh, the similarities of this plane with the T2. It is slightly better in the turn time, but uh, very, very slightly. <laughs> it is very comparable to the T2 in maneuverability and also in how she feels. It's just a little bit faster and a little bit better, but all in all. The flares though are a nice concept. Um, deploy the flares, move and try to avoid those uh, incoming missiles. It can be quite fun, although I have not got the complete knack of it yet as I've been out of the loop for a while and also just back into jet, so it's, it's all very nice and, and, and cozy. <laughs> but it, it's not up to top shape yet. Anyway, those flares, man, those flares are fun to deploy and, and it's definitely uh, fun to work with them. I had a shitload of fun with my uh, with my squadron flying this thing out. Now the ammo load of the of the thing is great with 640 rounds. Four uh, sidewinders are also great. Acceleration of this plane in a straight line is great. In a dive, it's also great. Energy retention in the horizontal is excellent, and in the vertical is great. 
This plane does lose a lot of speed when you're maneuvering though in the turn and in the vertical fighting it does lose a lot of energy so be aware of that with a complete uh, turn you make you almost lose uh, five six hundred kilometers an hour in speed if you're a little bit higher in the speed and you use the afterburner you still lose 400 450 kilometers an hour in speed which is quite a bit it does have uh, the great acceleration though so you'll pick up the speed uh, quickly again especially with these powerful afterburners and uh, that is definitely an advantage you can pick the speed right up no problem the climb rate in this plane is excellent it is uh, not uh, nothing comparable to the to the most recent uh, mix i have experienced that and i have also heard some of the guys talking about it in my squadron who flew the uh, mig 21s i haven't flown those mig 21s myself yet so i have no first hand uh, experience but uh, this thing doesn't climb as fast and will be caught in a climb by those things uh, thank god you don't meet uh, a lot of them yet but um, i guess there's plenty of players who have them but many people are flying the most uh, new planes right now so you you do not get the soviet teams uh, a lot uh, opposing you right now turn time in this plane is uh, bad below average with flaps and uh, that is uh, absolutely not a, uh, a good uh, part of this plane the the turn time the sustained turn time especially is uh, is not too great flaps rip off at 750 kilometers as well so you cannot deploy them in your first uh, turn obviously you got to be careful with them uh, take uh, a turn or two and once you see your speed drop below the 750 you can start using those uh, flaps to your heart's content and uh, they do help quite a bit and you need that you need that because the bad turn time is really uh, nothing to write home about with the uh, flaps it's a little bit better the roll rate is great though especially at the, at the higher speeds as we missed the focal wolf 190 somebody's trying to troll of course but we got uh, we got the other plane right after that a mig 21 <laughs> just talked about them overall maneuverability is decent but this is definitely not a plane you want to use uh, as a maneuvering uh, jet you want to really uh, use it uh, as a boom and zoomer and um, th that's where its strings lie as a fighter you know you you get on somebody's tail shoot off a sidewinder hopefully kill them and then you move on to another one without losing too much speed that's what you that's what you hope for but of course in jet battles you always come to certain points where you want to maneuver and uh, you want to try the plane out as well you want to get a feel of it so yeah i can understand you maneuvering as well it's not very bad at it but uh, it's definitely not one of the best that's for sure uh just a hit bloody hell but uh, we'll try to get him overheating is not an issue in this plane and durability is very good very good durability this plane can soak a ton of damage and uh, still take uh, you can still get her home i haven't tested if you can fly back on one engine but as you could do that with the t2 i assume you can also probably do that with this plane um you know uh, unless you're on the other half of the map on spain or something i don't know but uh, this plane is, is quite sturdy for the rest this plane is very versatile you know it's it this is the interceptor version but it still has all the bomb options it has a three cannon setup it has lots of bomb loads it can take uh, half of a b29 uh, bomb load with um, 500 pounders it is an absolute beast when it comes to that it has rockets tiny tims different kinds of rockets it has combos of bombs and rockets and missiles and and rockets it, you can do so much with this plane you can you know you can equip her for how you want to use her basically and that is uh, very nice indeed it is uh, an enjoyable plane i have no clue how to bomb uh, as a uh, fighter in jets i have not done it much uh, i'm very far from an expert so uh, as i just came back i didn't want to even try that <laughs> it would take a lot of matches before I could drop some bombs on the target or maybe drop everything and then hit the target but anyway you know uh, what I'm saying this uh, but this plane has those options for those of you who are uh, more specialized in that and who are ground pounding a lot with uh, jets this thing is a dream when it comes to that now, it was a real workhorse this thing could do everything it could be equipped with everything that is also the reason why it doesn't excel in anything it is a great all-rounder, a great jack-of-all-trades. 
but um, and very versatile, but it it's definitely not the best at anything. So there's there's other jets that then can definitely be faster than this plane, or climb better than this plane, or turn better than this plane. You know, you you always have an opponent that can do something better than you because this plane really was designed to be a workhorse and a jack of all trades. Now to get yourself out of a pickle, the flares definitely help. I've gotten some practice in. If of course, uh, you get uh, missiles launched on you uh, all the time, and um, but still, if you're if you're going after people like this, and you preferably you look at the plane behind you, and you then deploy the flares uh, as they uh, come, those missiles, and you maneuver. But uh, <laughs> I wasn't that practiced yet. I have to admit that uh, it will come with time. I've got another uh, Phantom to fly. I've got a few other jets uh, as. Uh, Test uh, vehicles for uh, you know for rentals. Uh, I got Gajin got me some uh, got me some stuff, so that's good. So I will uh, I'll get some practice in. But uh, I had a lot of fun in this play, man. It was uh, it was good to be back in jets. Although as you guys know, the uh, props have always been my forte, but uh, still it's it, it's nice. A hit and a fire that is good. Out of uh, out of missiles as I am, I'm also out of fuel by the way. <laughs> But uh, this is the last plane, so uh, let's get him. Yes, thank you. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's float back. Mm, we might not make it. <laughs> but as versatile as the Phantom is, I'm sure I can use her as a rowboat. You know, he might not sink. Who knows? Fantastic plane. I really had uh, a lot of fun. I see what we got on the scoreboard. We've got um, Terror of the Sky, we've got Bulletproof on hand, 43,000 silver lines and 14,000 research points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now totally enjoyable, the F4E Phantom, fantastic plane, very forgiving, it's a very versatile plane, can do everything uh, quite well. It is also very durable, so it can take a, a good deal of damage and still take you home. And uh, that was very nice for me as I just jumped back. I had a high uh, rustiness uh, percentage <laughs> when I got back in. Haven't flown jets in about half a year. So yeah, and to get into the top tier then without uh, any uh, other uh, practicing was um, quite the adventure. I did take a couple of the lads out from my squadron to uh, compensate that a little bit, get some support in. But uh, yeah, I did have uh, quite the bit of fun in the plane. It's a good plane. It, it doesn't shine at everything, it doesn't shine at anything particular because it was, you know, the Phantom was built as a workhorse that could do pretty much everything. It could be equipped with a shit ton of bombs. As I said, it could take half the bomb load of a B-29, but start with 500, um, 500 pounders load of a B-29. This one can take uh, 24 500 pounders, so that's half the, the B-29 bomb load. That is amazing if you think about it, right? Anyway, it has so many options with the three cannon setup, the bomb loads, the rockets and combos of everything. It's just fantastic. It also has flares, which is a nice uh, mechanic to start working with. I haven't got the knack of it completely yet, but it has saved me quite a few times already. Preferably you look at the enemy plane while you deploy your flares and make a turn while you're flying that way. But um, yes, I'm not quite. Co I'm I'm still quite a bit out of my comfort zones uh, flying this thing, so I, I haven't quite got that mastered up yet. The flares, but uh, we'll get there eventually. But uh, nice mechanic and and a fantastic plane to fly. Can definitely recommend her. Um, nice addition to the American line, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to. Hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment, and if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.